Oh, welcome back, fellow uh, push button gamers. Keep on pushing their buttons. <laughs> oh, I need a I need a catchphrase. If anyone's got any suggestions, feel free to leave that in the comment section below. Uh, uh, just here on Battle Knights. Um, figured just do a quick video about some general observations uh, for the arena specifically. Uh, I'm sure it's fairly self-explanatory for most of the newer players. They just go in there, they go to their team, which you can access by clicking on your icon, and then you go ahead and you do a deployment. So for this, we'll just uh, kind of just throw some things in there. This is how I normally run it anyway. All the way down here, all the way down. You know what? Today I was cheering. This is, this is. Uh, what, what am I gonna say? I reckon I've probably done maybe like 150, 200 of those um, normal senior hires, right? <laughs> and today was the first time I got a second Samuel coffee, so I'm pretty stoked about that. Not gonna lie. <laughs> You know, one semi copy down to finally make this dude uh, epic uh, or purple, depending on which way you want to um, call it. So we're, we're, we're almost there, guys. We're almost there. I swear, I think I'm the only one that's uh, around four and a half million power that's, that's actually running a um, blue hero. But um, if you didn't know, Samuel is uh, must have support, so you kind of have to run him. Um, there are better choices for um, PvE, for sure. Uh, well, not PvE, maybe PvP. But, is what it is. So we're just going to run with this. So you set your defense up like that. If you click the auto deploy button, it will take your player versus environment team. So I'll just give you a quick example. Press the, I always go across thinking that's how I'm going to get to this. But no. So if you go here, if you go here... Let's go. Let's actually go battle. I'm sure there's a better way of doing it, but if you go battle, you can select your formation. So you got three options. So formation one, two, and three. Um, formation three is the one that I use majority of the time now. Uh, but depending on your formation, corresponds. Uh, hopefully, hopefully we win this. Sorry. I, I pressed the attack button. I should have pressed the back button, but you know what? Let's just abandon it. We're going to win anyway, but you know. I'll, uh, I'll spend like maybe two hours playing this throughout the day on and off to progress past this chapter. Um, kind of have to grind it out now. I'm way behind on this server. Um, but anyway, so that's your formation. Um, I just saw then as I click, there's this edit formation button, but that's essentially what happens. So if you click auto deploy, it will deploy your current formation that you've set up for player versus environment. So if you're ever confused as to um, what's going on there and why did you lose a couple of battles, um, check out your defense team um, because you might be super strong, but your defense team, you know, could be picking the wrong heroes for you and that might cost you a couple of matches. Um, in saying that, one tactic that I've observed and can confirm, if you put one hero on your defense, um, the enemy team is going to attack that hero. <laughs> and hopefully, and, and this is, I mean, I, I've tried it a little bit too early in the season, I think, um, because I'm at goal three. Not very high, but sort of midsection. Um, but what I noticed is if they attack you and beat you, right, you can go in and select revenge. Now, I tried this out just before. Um, I got rudely kicked off because of the, <laughs> because of, uh, the uh, up update when the uh, server refreshes. But um, try this before. If you find someone uh, that's killed you because you're, you've got a weak defense team, Go in there and revenge them. Um, basically, set up your team beforehand, then go in there and revenge them, right? So, 
you're pretty much going to win all of the fights and you don't have to go and you don't have to go into your match and look for them so it's an easy way to a pick fights that you can win and b it's sort of like a lazy way because you don't have to refresh you don't have to spend gems because eventually you're gonna have to spend gems to refresh the higher you get because the truth is when you hit the sort of diamond almost master level you're going to be fighting really really tough opponents so you're not going to lose out too many points um by doing that strategy but it's going to allow you to maximize your win ratio if that makes sense and the reason that you want to maximize your win ratio is because it is in fact a challenge so i've noticed me personally um that every time i finish one of these the longest thing that it takes me to do again point in fact the longest thing is the, the arena challenge because i climbed so high um previous to this so the last uh, season i think i finished diamond three so i climbed so high that i couldn't guarantee a win against the opponents because even though i was refreshing and refreshing and spending all these gems even the bottom like even the worst opponent was like you know <laughs> better than my team which is ironic because why would you be able to climb so high but also at that stage you know the season's ending so everyone's in the in the climb motion as well like because they want to maximize their final re uh, rewards um, but it makes it almost nigh impossible to um to complete this challenge uh and you kind of want to just keep doing these challenges because i believe they get better and better so this is chapter 12 so this is taking me so long to do um but i digress uh that's the reasoning behind why i'm attempting some different strategies to maximize the maximize the win ratio I don't really care too much about the rank. Um, I know when I finish this season out in nine days, I will finish either on Diamond 2 or Diamond 3. Um, I might even get to Master if I can be bothered spending the, um, the tickets. Uh, you have to be pretty dedicated though. Uh, that's my personal ob observation as well. Um, you pretty much have to maximise your plus two a day. This is dependent on your VIP. So... This will be different for uh, free-to-play players. I believe it's only one. Uh, I think I'm VIP four, so I've got two. And obviously, the higher the rank of your VIP, the more additional buys you can get. Uh, there's no other way to get arena tickets. Um, it's essentially just a time gate. So you'll get one every. You'll get a free one every two hours. So. In 10 hours, say you you hit the reset, which is 11, um, it's 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time in Sydney uh, for me. So it's all very, it's, it's going to be different for, for a lot of the other guys that are watching this. But if you time it out 10 hours from your reset, you can do another five attacks for free. Um, so in this instance, I'm just going to buy the, the other additional two and then... I will wait, I will wait, I'll wait and see who attacks me, <laughs> and then the, so your battle report uh, should have like a little uh, red symbol, um, which means that you can then go in and view uh, your previous defeats, and it gives you the revenge option, and I can confirm when you do revenge against them, so I previously did one just then, 19 minutes ago, um, I got plus 11. So I was 140, 1443, then plus 11, and I got the 10 arena currency points as well for doing it. So this um, this looks like could be one of the best strategies out there. Uh, I'm not sure if this, that this has been done before, but let me know if this is successful. Let me know if, um, if this is going to help you guys out. Um, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna keep an eye on it and see how I go in eight days. Might do an updated video and then I can just be like, yeah, this this is 100. percent If this is the way to maximize your win scores, um, but I'm feeling like that that's the way. Granted, people are gonna have to attack you though, so <laughs> they you know there's a, there's a little bit of a strategy behind it. Like you kind of want them to attack you if that makes sense. So. Uh, the more people that cotton onto it, might they might stop 
yeah, they might not do it as much. Mm, just depends. I actually have come across some people with one per, one person defense in in their lineup, and I don't know if that was intentional or not. But yeah, um, keep grinding, keep saving. The perfect event hire is out this week. Don't fall into the trap of doing uh, one or two. Just keep saving these up. You know, keep getting as many perfect hires as you can, and then when the hero that you want rolls around then go for it um but i wouldn't i would not suggest doing it beforehand just because uh, it's just not worth it um just an update with that too i mean i bought the the premium card to get some of these additional things because uh, that to me to me that was good value but for the perfect hire event you you know you gotta hire out how many is it a hundred Ooh, a hundred, a hundred perfect tires to max up, like to to do everything. Uh, I don't even know if a hundred's worse. What are these? Just SS um, Eldams? Probably not even worth it to be completely honest with you. I mean, you'd probably just stop at eighty and just grab another one of uh, Lemuria and some food from Queen B. But yeah, I mean, look, everyone's circumstance is different. Um, my advice is don't don't spend your perfect hires. Keep them. Pick the event that actually works for you, what copies that you need. Um, Phoebe or Phobe, depending on how you want to pronounce it. Decent hero. Decent hero. I mean, I could uh, maybe awaken her again. Um, but, yeah, we'll see. Pretty stoked about the Samuel. But um, let me know uh, in the comments below if this has helped you. Uh, if you've already you've already stumbled across this technique before for the arena and it works, or you know if you'd like to see some sort of other content related things for uh, for battle nights, um, just keep making progress, keep saving up your resources. Don't uh, don't don't basically do the events every time they're around. Leapfrog them. Make sure you can maximize and. Um, Oh, you'll probably enjoy it a little bit more. It, it becomes boring and a little bit tedious at the same time, but, you know, every week, go and just smash out your chapters, do your chapters, see how far you can progress, um, see how far you can level up. Uh, don't forget your mind. So at the moment, uh, I've been neglecting that. But you do you do get some um, legendary... Uh, uh, don't even know. I keep forgetting how to pronounce these. Haldums, um, which are worth it. If you didn't know, the more legendaries you have, the higher your um, your benefit is. So you have to have them all of the same type. Um, and basically, if you have six of the same type, uh, you will, or six legendaries, you will get the uh, corresponding bonuses. So in this case, uh, for this Twilight Crystal, when the battle begins, Chris Heroes owns speed by 25%, accuracy by 50%, and attack by 30% for four rounds. <laughs> So good for bursty DPS. And hey, I mean, that's uh, that pretty much covers it in a nutshell. Um, but like I said, let me know if you'd like to see anything else explained. Um, otherwise, have a great day. Thank you.